think that um, okay, so we've got this um, stair pretty much in position but it does need to be uh, a little wider um, and then uh, then we can get it exactly in the right position before doing the landing uh, at the entry there so it's going to select the stair in any view doesn't matter which view and then in properties if you scroll down you'll find width and it needs to be made uh, just a little wider 1060 and if you're wondering why it's because the stair flight itself is 1060 and then we have 200 um, that should then line up with the edge of the, uh, the main wall there so essentially now this corner should line up with the corner of the wall there so I'm going to select with that stair selected the whole stair, it's going to click the move button snap to the corner of the stair to pick it up and then snap to the corner of the wall above that and that should in theory leave a gap of you could use the line yep. yep and so that should leave a gap of 200 between the stair and the edge of that floor which is so what we want yep that's right I see you've got a level one if you want to see the landing. Oh, you need to move. Oh, it's not your stairs, it's your floor. It needs to come out. So you can adjust that afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, well, then you'll get a gap on the other side. So if you go to edit boundary, then you can change it. So, um, oh yeah, so now I'm just going to do the, the entry. So it's a bit harder to pick up because in the photos, you can only just see it. Here we are. Okay, so it should be the width of the stair plus the stringers. So I'm going to go to the uh, ground floor floor plan. And I'm just going to make a floor. So I click on the floor tool. And we'll set the floor type to generic 300 mil. And I'm going to go straight to pick lines. And I'm going to pick the boundary at the front on the left. I'm going to pick the back of the first step because I want the landing to go under these stairs. And then, on the options bar, I'm going to type in 200 in that offset field. So then I can pick the top edge of the stair and the bottom edge of the stair. Oops. And making sure that the line goes below and above, so that they're outside the stair. So these later should line up with the stringer that we're going to add on the side. And then I can use trim to join all of those together to get my final shape. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll have a look at that in a sec. So, um, so just to finish it off, I'll just put in the um, height offset from level there, make it 250, tick to finish, and I'll just show you that in 3D how it should look. So now we can see oh, right. yeah, yeah. it starts on that floor and finishes on this floor. Then we'll put a gap in the gate afterwards. But that's fine for now. 